I'm Emilio Pasmino, and this is the Florida Gar. Today we're out here with my friends night fishing in a canal in Florida. And we found a school of Florida gar swimming by the shore. After several attempts, we were able to land what I believe to be the biggest one. Gar are an ancient type of fish. Fossils have been found that date from the Jurassic period. They are found all throughout pen peninsular Florida, up to the Savannah River in Georgia. There are a few species of gar native to the area, and these guys can be identified because of these spots that they have throughout their body. And they're relatively short uh, snout. There are a couple of species of gar that have snouts that are like this long. And they are also much smaller than the famous alligator gars of Texas. The Florida gar is an apex predator and it hunts fish, shrimps, and other invertebrates in the water. They're mostly nighttime hunters, but they do occasionally attack during the day. You guys may remember that a little while back I did an episode in South America with the wolf fish. And although they're not closely related, these two fish are surprisingly similar. For one, they both have an adaptation called an air bladder that they use to breathe for a short while while they're out of the water. This is because in both South America and here in Florida, the water level sometimes drops significantly. They have to cope with the low oxygen levels to survive. Another reason this fish reminds me a lot of the wolf fish is because of the teeth. And you can see it's opening its mouth a little, but I want to show you more. Hang on. I'm gonna take my. I'm gonna open up the mouth so you guys can see those needle like teeth that they have. So you guys can see that apart from these very sharp teeth, they have a very thin bony mouth. And because of this, they're pretty hard to hook. They don't have much flesh so that the hook can get embedded. One way that most people fish this is by using a nylon that gets tangled around their teeth. We didn't fish this way tonight. We were able to uh, hook him uh, normally, but I feel like the other way was slightly more efficient. The Florida guard can reach up to three feet in length. So right now we're gonna measure how long this one is. So let's see, we have here the measuring. So this one is two feet, two inches. Okay, so it's not as big as they get, but it's still an impressive individual. Though these fish are edible, their eggs, called roe, are highly toxic to humans. The exact reason for why they're toxic isn't known, as the, the fish that'll actually eat their eggs are immune to this toxin, so it's not for defense. However, it is interesting to note that crayfish immediately fall ill after eating them, so that might be a reason why. These are very tough fish, and they can survive from some time out of the water. However, we're gonna go put him back in the lake so he can recover. Till next time. Ha, 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 ha.